Right guys, I'm Luke Madden. I'm a personal trainer and online coach based in Pure Gym Lisburn. So this is my first YouTube video and all I'm going to be doing is documenting the process of completing a fitness based photo shoot. So photo shoots are probably quite common to see on your social media such as Instagram and Facebook depending on who you follow. But as I started to complete the process myself, I kind of realized that I don't really know the whole process behind it. So the purpose of this video is to kind of show you guys the ins and outs, especially the likes of the tan, which I had no idea about. And hopefully this video will take you through that. So at the minute we're outside Cut and Grind Salon. A uh, good friend Reese Morton is gonna give us a good wee haircut and then we're gonna go get the tan slapped on for tomorrow. Cut done and um, on to the spray tan time. So, fortunate enough, so I was doing the likes of sunbeds and stuff like that when it came to trying to get a wee bit of a base color for the shoot. And um, obviously, once the cameras are on you, you do reflect pretty well, especially when you're as, as pale white as I am. But um, I'm training a fella called Brendan who actually owns Be Perfect, the makeup brand. And he said to me to come down for a spray tan, like a practice spray tan. And it makes such a big difference. It saves so much effort in terms of going to the sunbeds, potentially damaging skin, things like that. And the difference it actually made to the physique itself, which I don't know if you'll be able to capture that, but in terms of bringing the definition out, everything like that, done a really good job. So done, I've been twice already. Um, this time around, I think we are in for something a wee bit different. So. I text Elaine, who works at Be Perfect, just to get booked in for today. And uh, she did mention that there's a few members of staff looking to learn how to do the spray tan, so I will be modeling for them there. No pressure on them. Uh, cameras will be rolling, and um, plenty of faces in the room, and I'll be stripped down to a boxer just getting the spray tan done. <laughs> Not something that comes particularly natural for me, but um, needs done, and it'll be interesting. So, yeah, Brendan. So, Owns be perfect. Um, I think he's been training with me for about six weeks now, maybe. Um, ever since they launched it online, which I think was the first of August. So that'd be a while now, like two months maybe. But um, he, he's dead easy to train. Like it's it's when it comes to Brennan, it's just about nailing the basics. So like he's a really really busy guy. Like he'll always have his phone in his hand. He'll always have messages coming through. Obviously, he's kind of the the go-to guy in the company when it comes to any questions like that so always just sending voice notes always on his phone flat out but um that's why it's like kind of meal prepping and planning stuff like that isn't really effective as long as i know he's making like healthy food choices then it's all good because he trains with me four or five times some weeks you know what i mean so i know he's getting his training done and then when it comes to food just nail the basics somewhere we're all good and be perfect they're launching their first mega store um, tomorrow actually, so same day as my shoot. So I'm hoping Brendan's about and we'll get a chat with him. Uh, get him to kind of talk about the the whole mega store, about the company itself, how it started. These guys are makeup artists, are they? Or? No, they just produce makeup, so they're a makeup brand. Um, so their mega store, I think, has a lot of different brands that'll be available in it. And then they'll obviously have like a section of just be perfect brands. But I've actually used some of the stuff, so the girls, doing the spray tan and stuff like that have been really helpful uh, when I went in the, the two times I've been in and they've been handing me products like you know to actually help get the tan off afterwards and to uh, help exfoliate before getting the tan on basically just getting rid of like any dead skin on the body stuff like that so that the tan actually stays because the first time I went in um, I was still doing the sunbeds at that point and my skin was actually peeling so as soon as I got the tan done as like flipped this first class hopped out of the shower next day skin was peeling so it was my it was the dark it's medium tan but for me it obviously looks very dark and as soon as i got a shower like the skin was just peeling and it's like one extreme to the other because obviously i am the whitest person alive <laughs> so it was very dark and then obviously when the skin came off it was extremely white so but no they've been very good very good um, your, your second time you've ever done that yeah 
So I've done two. I've done two. It went for one, and then the second time I went, it wasn't really all off. Uh, but this time, I think it's been about a week and a half since I got the last one done. Um, so I know for a fact that it, it'll sit well. And I think it's a double cook today as well, just to reduce all margin of error for, proper, proper for the shoot. <laughs> so different for me, like it's just not, like I've never done anything like it. Like I wouldn't even be keen on some beds or anything like that. And it's just like, obviously for the shoot you need it, but yeah, no, it's strange. <laughs> strange experience. <laughs> First time I went round, I did not have a clue what I was in for. But no, the girls are very helpful. Like very helpful in terms of explaining everything that's going on. Um, otherwise I no, have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But no, it's been very helpful. And this is the first time getting a double coat done. So I don't know what the process for that is, whether I have to kind of wait for a bit for the first coat to kind of set. But a um, load of baggy clothes on and all that. Oh, we've got a wee limo picking you up. <laughs> <laughs> Me. How many litres of water are you on today? Four. Four litres of water. Tough, gonna have a dry mouth all day. It's <laughs> tough when you're talking all day as well. <laughs> That's one thing when it's up until now I've had to kind of force the water in, like seven, eight litres a day. I'm training clients, like I just talk all day, so it's easy to drink a load of water. But yeah, I've taken the last week off work because my head is just mush. <laughs> Cannot process anything, so Training people, it just wasn't wasn't really happening. Like so, I just said, look, I'll take a week off until the shoot. Back on Monday, so Wednesday today, a couple more days off. But um, yeah, no, only four liters. And again, the general person that probably sounds like they're kind of pushing water in. That's it's tough to limit myself <laughs> four liters today. But hopefully, go well. I think I've so that's about ten a liter and a half in. So. Cutting it tight down a load of carbs, eh? I'm only at 9.23. <laughs> One and a half litres. Ah, to be fair, I'll be in bed in 12 hours. <laughs> half nine, I'll be. <laughs> Fast asleep. Highly nutritious meal. Started tomorrow. Representing Dead Threads today. Oh, big shout out Dead Threads. Start me out with some kit. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Good, good. Feeling very dark. Very dark. It's, again, as I showed there, it's not my natural colour at all. Um, as I said earlier, whitest person you know, but now obviously doing the job. But uh, yeah, absolutely starving. So gotta go home. I think my meals today, so five meals. Um, three of them is 90 grams of chicken and one bagel and one rice kick. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three of the meals. Uh, the other two meals is chicken and a big portion of rice, 150 grams of rice. And I think my last meal I get two rice cakes instead. And I've uh, a glass of white wine to drink tonight, which I've never drank before in my life, so I don't know how it's gonna go. But it will dehydrate me, the dry meal. I'll be looking very good in the morning. Okay, so this is the man himself. This is Brendan, the owner of Be Perfect. So, Brendan's been training with me for about two months now, and he's dead easy to train as well. Uh, incredibly busy guy, so it's really just about nailing the basics. Uh, he knows he's making good food choices, healthy alternatives to what we'd usually binge out on. And I know he kind of keeps on track with his training, trains with me anytime from three, three to five times a week at times. So, I know he's on track with his training, I know he's good with his food choices, so 
pretty easy to train and yeah it's all based around that busy busy lifestyle that he has so Brendan yourself um, tell us a bit about yourself about the company about where it started yeah sure and um, Brendan started off the company eight years ago just as a market trader doing pop-ups at uh, trade events like the Balmoral show and um, shopping centers at Castle Court and um, started off very small with 500 quid and grew it into an international brand and um, this year we're stocked online and on almost every country across the world and um, growing rapidly in South America and North America um, especially and uh, this year we're opening our very first uh, flagship mega store in Belfast um, with the hope of, of rolling them out across the UK and Ireland. Yeah, so big, big brand, and for a guy like me that knows absolutely nothing about makeup, when he said he wouldn't be perfect, it actually rang a bell, that name, so I think that kind of shows you the stature of the brand itself. Uh, the Megastore itself, obviously it's tomorrow, Yeah. you're under, under a lot of pressure, and big, big, big plans for it as well. <laughs> so, very so over the better. <laughs> yeah, and the actual launch itself, any, any big plans for it? Yeah, we've Jacqueline Jossa over who I've collaborated with um, on a new tannin product and um, lots of big influencers like Mitchell, Stacey Marie, um, Polly Merchant, Holly Boone, so they'll all be there. For, they're all people I've partnered with um, and they'll all be working in the store on the night. Excellent work. Uh, chuffed a bit to the tan. Really good job. Good. So very, very good happy with that. And <laughs> looking forward to see the, the finished product tomorrow and the finished product with the mega store when it's launched. So all the best of that. Cheers, thank I'll you. See, you. see you next week, Trina. No <laughs>
Okay, so a bit of backdrop for you is, is that I've been weight training for three and a half years now. Um, basically, whenever I started, I think I was about probably 58 kilo odd. I was skinny fat, I had no muscle, but a wee, wee belly on me. Um, kept fit from football that, but I've been weight training for three and a half years now. Um, and I set myself a goal of completing a photo shoot at the three year mark. Um, obviously lockdown and COVID got in the way. So here we are, completely reversed it, it's four weeks out when lockdown happened um, and then got fat over lockdown. <laughs> I just started from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of lockdown I reached out to Josh. Um, Josh, pro bodybuilder in the men's physique category, soon to be going up from men's physique so he's not going to be there for long. But um, definitely he's prepped himself for shows which I think is nuts. Um, but he definitely, definitely knows his stuff. So I reached out to him and here we are 12 weeks later, 30 pounds down. Yeah, which is a so, scary thought. Yeah, like looking at like starting photos, I'm sure you will see them somewhere. If you follow Luke on Instagram, you'll see them as well. There was 30 pounds off from then till now. Looking, you wouldn't have thought maybe there wouldn't have been 30 pounds to push off, but you know, we averaged out about two pounds a week weight loss. And uh, every single every single week we were assessing, you know, Luke plays football two, three times a week. Yeah. He's a PT on the gym floor, so activity wise is always high. And then most guys always think right straight off the bat, you need to start doing cardio every single day. Cardio, they start dieting, under eat, over train. And what I try to instill into Luke's mind just before he, we started getting deep into the diet was being able to, you know, change your focus from losing weight into the intensity in the way that you train and then outside of that if you're following a diet in a deficit you will drop body fat but where the issue is with most guys they think they're going to the gym the four sets of this five sets of this drop set super set all the volume and you know they're losing weight and yeah they're getting results fast but is it sustainable not really because after those 12 weeks and what i knew whenever i approached luke with this or i gave luke this approach was keeping him full keeping him strong actually training less but doing more when he is training by example intensity in the sets we were able to drop body fat hold fullness and muscle hold conditioning and basically enjoy it for as long as he what he could you know because most guys from a couple of weeks in their heads in the shed but luke was getting stronger right up until about like two or three weeks ago so for the first 10 weeks for the first 80 percent of his prep you could say we got Luke strong than what he was in the higher body fat so we pulled body fat off butt strength up and he looked absolutely phenomenal I have to say it, like he was crisp dry he's making me want to start <laughs> putting a bit of a step in my goal here like yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah but no, no. Big, big thanks to Joshua because again the condition I was in four weeks out before lockdown was again I was doing all the approaches that he's saying don't do <laughs> yeah guys because yeah I was dieting I like was this. I was losing weight but it wasn't the way that it should have been um yeah. so there's a hundred there's a hundred ways to skin a cat but yeah there's only a certain few ways that you should do it and that's the same with dieting you know so boys yeah take right. it from Luke as well you know like you saw Luke and if anything you could say he grown in a deficit and people are like that's not physically possible Luke as well being a natural athlete that is possible yeah. you know proof from the pudding so all we done was manage his training volume and our main concern was just energy balance throughout the week making sure he's just in that slight deficit but other than that you know he rocked it he looked good yeah Okay, so these are the two photographers for the day, Martin Irvine and Victoria Connery. Um, I'm just going to invite them to speak a bit about their business, about their role of the photographer in the photo shoots, as they do very, very busy with fitness photo shoots all over the country. So over to you guys, tell us a bit about yourselves. Okay, well, as uh, Luke said, my name is Martin Irvine. I am a fitness and physique photographer based here in Northern Ireland. So Luke brought me in today to basically capture his physique and all the hard work that he has put in. But primarily what he's going to do with these images is showcase off that he serves his clients through his business from an area of authenticity and experience so he's been there he's walked the walk he knows what he's doing and then he can apply all these principles that he's learned going through this prep himself to his business so what he'll do then is probably use the images then on his own social media then to be able to put out content that's going to allow him to attract more of his elite client right um so yes the photos will be up martin says about a week or two and um, max for the the full photos to come out and i will update just then the youtube video should be out by then uh, even at the end of the video i'll probably chuck in a few of the photos just so you can see the work that martin and victoria have done today so thank you very much for, for helping pleasure, out sir. Um, absolute pleasure well done again, again. Okay.